First of all, th thank you. Thanks, everyone, for, for coming to supersize your search. Big name. Eh? Uh, but we'll see that even the name is short for the things that we want to show, OK? Um, this is the agenda we are going to follow. Um, first thing is about talking myself about myself and, and the company that I work with. Some background about why we got to a point where we have to develop and to build the solution that I'm going to show you. The, the solution itself, how does it work, what there is under the hood. Um, some scenarios where this solution can perfectly uh, fit. Uh, some conclusions uh, about what we are going to see, okay? Um, <clears throat> well, I'm from Alvarez. I am the um, director of SAISI Aviria. SAISI is a company based on Europe and Asia. Something I have noticed when I've been here, it's my first time in the, um, in the summit slash DEF CON in, in the States, is that we are not quite popular here. Nobody knows too much about us, so I would like to show you who we are. Um, well, I am a Fresco certified engineer. Since I am a, a chief architect of the company, I'm responsible of very large Alfresco architectures. Um, yeah. Um, also, we work with semantic technologies, and I act like a semantic so consultant for our products, um, our roadmap, etc. Um, whenever you see that there is a meetup in Andalusia, my region of, of Spain, I am the guy behind that. Okay. We didn't, actually I didn't have th these slides in the presentation that I did in, in Barcelona because everyone knows I see it. But here, uh, I appreciate if you let me uh, share a um, few seconds with you about who we are. We are an open source company that um, his aim is make people work more efficiently and help them to, to work in that way, okay? We have um, uh, our main headquarters um, based on, on London, but we also have uh, an office in Seville, the one where I work in, in Colombo, in Sri Lanka, and recently in, in Singapore. These are some statements that define us. Okay, we are specialists in, in Alfresco. We've been working in Alfresco since Alfresco was born. Actually, yeah. We are a platinum Alfresco partner. Um, we recently won uh, some awards that we normally give in, in the EMEA uh, uh, summit. We've been best system integrator partner in EMEA for two years in a row. And this year we have joined the Million Club that is like the um, partner that gives Alfresco uh, one million dollars uh, in subscriptions, okay? Very important feature that makes difference about us is that we offer 24-7 uh, support of all our Alfresco projects. And that's the um, more outstanding products that we have in our, our stack. Actually, in, in this presentation, we are going to see what? Well, uh, Alfresco, Redlink, Solar, Amazon uh, Web Services, and Elasticsearch. Okay. Um, before talking about the, um, the solution itself, let me put a bit of, of context about why we are here. Okay. This is the typical architecture of uh, an Alfresco 3, 4 minus uh, installation in, within a cluster. Okay, we had um, database and content store somewhere, but we have replicated the indexes in the Alfresco context. Okay, so we have <coughs> indexes in Alfresco A, indexes in Alfresco B, and they and they have uh, replication. Okay, um, one important thing, or 
one not quite good thing that Arfresco had those days is that when you perform a search, uh, you retrieve the results from, from Lucene, but then, then Alfresco had to uh, filter the results uh, regarding the permissions of the user that was doing the search. Another not very good thing was that indices were managing within Alfresco projects, so they didn't actually scale quite well. Quite well okay? um, what happened when the repository was certainly big, something like that, okay, it explodes, it didn't scale at all. Um, searches were not working qu quite good, as I said. Now, Alfresco 4 came into everyone. Um, they included solar as a system, lots of benefits, okay. Um, indexes are managing a separated web application, okay, it means that you can architecture and scale this solar instant outside Alfresco. Permissions are checked at query time. That means that w once you have done the query to, to solar, uh, solar returns the results filtered by the user that has performed the, the search. And the um, indexation of the document is not in the same transaction when that you are using when you are uploading or editing. So you don't see performance issues when you are doing typical operations within Alfresco, like uploading documents, editing metadata, okay? Um, that is one of the possible architectures that you can build with this new solar um, search subsystem, okay? Um, as, I, as I just said, it's one of the different uh, architectures that we can have because we can have solar in cluster, um, only one Alfresco pointing to several solars, okay? The flexibility of these architectures is much better, okay? And now we don't have indexes replicating, okay? So, <coughs> we've seen Alfresco 4 has improved a lot. And um, how can we define Alfresco 4? Alfresco 4 is not only the biggest open source CCN of the world, but also is document management, records management, uh, workflows, mobile, cloud, is smart, is simple. So how can we define Alfresco 4? Alfresco 4 is a superhero, okay? It's something that can do almost everything. I like a superhero, his aim is keep customer happy, okay? Is keep the peace between customers. Um, but like all the superheroes, there are some enemies that Alfresco needs to deal with. Related to search, okay, we have quite common enemies, okay, like find a single document between a huge repository, return large data sets in an order way, being able to filter by permissions, and of course, it needs to respond fast. It needs to be fast, okay? This is the common enemy. Sometimes there are some enemies that are more difficult to beat, okay? Um, sometimes one superhero is not enough, okay? We need someone else or something else, okay? Um, getting back to a technical point of view, the Fresco and Solar approach is quite a good architecture because it allows you to deploy in a different ways, takes care about performance, permissions, usability, it's like much better than what we used to have with Lucene. And we have different uh, flexibility in deployments and, and installation. We can, uh, depending on our use case, we can decide how the best way to um, scale out solar from Alfresco and define the way that you want to configure your architecture. But however, because we have been talking with customers, getting requirements for them. We've seen that sometimes we need something else, okay? Something different, okay? And for those cases, the future, okay, we tell Alfresco not to worry, okay? Because for those cases, we are here to help and to set up an architecture that is going to fit perfectly in um, customer requirements, okay? so. Here it comes, our solution. 
these are the highlights of it. We use Apache Manifold CF. Who in the room knows Apache Manifold? OK. That's not so bad. <laughs> My next question. Who in the room have used it? Apache Manifold? No one. OK, so I can lie. Perfect. Uh, no, seriously. Um, well, we use Apache Manifold CF. Now we will see how we are using it. It's a solution completely decoupled from Alfresco. We don't actually need to install anything in, in, in Alfresco. We could use uh, any other repository. Uh, we could use any CMIS repository, file system, okay, even a mix of all the one I told you. Quite important feature is that when we index in our solution, we preserve security and permissions, okay? Because we've seen that sometimes federated search, okay, allows you to index somewhere, but <coughs> you don't know anything about permissions. So either you need to filter later with the performance impact that we know, or you just offer your data to everyone. That sometimes is not what we want. In terms of the technical stuff that we have done, well, we have an API to manage manifold services, an API for searching, decoupling, uh, and decoupling the search engine chosen because we can switch between different uh, search engines on the fly even. So we can be using Solar Cloud, and for any reason we can, we decide to move to Amazon Cloud Search, we can do it. Also, we have done a simple and customizable bundled user interface that I'm going to show you in the demo. So we use the API for searching and the coupling, and the coupling from, the, from this user interface. It's quite simple, quite straightforward. You are going to see how it works uh, very easily. And we have done lots of manifold customization. Okay? What is manifold for those that you don't know? Well, it's an open source uh, Apache Software Foundation project. Okay, um, its main aim is getting content from repositories and pushing content on shared services, respecting the permissions from the source repository. Okay, it's based on two concepts: connectors and jobs. Connectors uh, are those elements that you define to either get information from or pushing information to. And it's, basing, uh, it's based on a crawling model, a change delayed. Um, also, I mentioned output connector and repository connector. There is also authority connectors that are the one that helps you to retrieve the permissions from the source repository. What can we get with Manifold? Something like that, OK? It's, we can have different data sources or repositories or call it what you want. We, through using uh, Apache Manifold, we can push all the data to those search servers that we want. They could be Solar Cloud, uh, Elasticsearch, Amazon Cloud Search, whatever you want. And I mean, you need to have an output connector, but if you implement your own out output connector, whatever you want, okay? And quite important thing, the authority service extracts. The authority information normally is ACLs, like Alfresco, from the repositories and push it to the authority service. So when you search, you have the user-specific search results in your screen, okay? Um, that's the basic concept of the architecture and manifold. You have a job in the middle, okay? And you have the, the aim of the job is getting information from the repository, pushing into the search server, and uh, realize about ACLs, about permissions. Okay, so you define a repository connector that you use in the job, and that extracts information from the repository. You define an output connector that is used by the job to push the information that you extracted to the search server. You define an authority connector that is used to understand the permissions from the repository uh, and, and source and make search server aware of these permissions. 
okay, repository connector, query to retrieve context, performs a query and it says, repository, please give me these new elements or these modifications of the elements that I don't have. Output connector, ingest the content into the cell server. And authority connector retrieve the ACLs for, for being used in the cell server. Okay, um, we use a crawling model and we can either run manually the jobs or we can um, automatically uh, define a schedule like be executed every second, every minute, something that can fit in a crawling expression and it's automatically executed. This is what we have done, the most uh, relevant items that we have done in, in Manifold. Okay, we have developed a new Alfresco repository connector. Um, there is one uh, available in the, in the Boomlet Manifold solution, but it was a bit buggy. Um, it was like very tight to the solar uh, version of Alfresco. So we decide to give it a twist and improve it, okay? Another connector that we have developed is an Amazon Cloud Search um, connector. Cloud Search is some of the products that Amazon Web Services provides. Um, it's quite good. The response times are quite nice. We're going to see it later. So it's a connector for pushing uh, data from any of the repository connector to the uh, Amazon Cloud, Cloud Search product. Finally, we have developed an Alfresco authority connector that allows to extract the permissions from Alfresco the very same way that Solar does, the Solar integration of Alfresco does, retrieving the ACLs from the, um, from the repository and indexing as part of the, of the content. Um, now we are going to see one of those scenarios where um, this solution fits better than any other one, okay? So we have the case of, uh, for any reason, we have different Alfresco instances. They don't share, they, it's not a cluster, they don't share uh, information at all. One typical example is that there is a company that has two offices separately. For any reason, they don't want to share information, but they, they want to uh, be able to search across both um, instances of Alfresco. What happened with the typical case? Well, of course, you can uh, query in one Alfresco instance, in the other one, and you have two separate the data sets of resolve, but you cannot merge it because they don't have the same index, okay? Okay, you could merge it, but what's the criteria? There is no, because you know, the rank algorithms of indexes uh, takes in account only the content itself. It's uh, inside the every index and they don't know anything about the second index. So, um, you could, the best solution that you can have here and is not quite tricky is that you have two different tabs. One tab for repository A and one tab for repository B. And results are in different columns, different tabs, but it's not like the best uh, usable solution. Okay, uh, with our solution, we have the two Alfresco indexing in the uh, search engine that we have configured. This one could be Solar Cloud, um, Elasticsearch, or uh, Amazon Cloud Search. Okay, what happened with those technologies? They are quite brand new, okay? They provide you some features that the Solar 142 version, which is the one that Fresco is using, does not. Okay, so you have um, functional uh, benefits because you have everything in, in your in one single index so once you query the, for the results the result comes ordered and in one only data set and you have 
uh, non-functional uh, benefits because the response time is much better, okay? The same, but imagine that you have one alfresco instance and one something else instance. Imagine that you have a legacy system that you don't want to get rid of, but it isn't worth it to perform a migration into Alfresco. Or you have a web portal or you have a file system, like it's very secret and you don't want to ingest the information in Alfresco, but you want someone in your organization to be able to search for it. Okay, that's the case with, with the um, current approach. We know that Alfresco is able to index in solar. We know there is an API, but maybe the, the other uh, data provider is a file system, and of course there is no index for a file system. Um, it's almost sure, unless the second one speaks CIMIS, that they don't speak the, the same language. Another, another disadvantage is that um, Alfresco is not able to reach external data unless we uh, perform some customization, some cloud customization. Even if we do that, it's the same that the uh, previous case. They don't have, they don't share uh, the same index, so you cannot present the results uniformly. With our solution, we use both Alfresco and the other repository uh, to push information, to push the content in the index that we, the cell solution that we have um, configured, installed and configured and deployed, and there is only one index, okay? And because it's using our solution, it's able to use our API, they speak the same language, our language, and you can query the results through our API, and you gets back the results uniformly. Um, because we provide a way to access external data, um, Alfresco can reach external data through our solution. And it's, again, it's a single index, so you can have um, the results in, in one single page, one single data set. The last use case that I'm going to show you is having a fresco with a huge uh, volume of data, okay? Right now with solar, we know it scales much better than Lucene, okay? But there are still some inconvenience, okay? Um, no, we don't have the chance to apply a scale techniques like sharding, replication, we cannot, or it's difficult to get, to have um, improvement in search, like um, faces, faceted search, uh, highlighting, autocomplete, because as I told you, the solar version that Alfresco is using is quite old, and uh, it's quite hard to develop this in, with this version. Okay, um, however, we, can have an acceptable uh, performance if we have a huge server configuration and installation. Even though, still, there might be some performance issues, okay? With our solution, we know that we can use the most modern technologies of search en and search engines, so they are a state of the art regarding searching. Okay, we know that we can use the most powerful techniques for uh, scaling, like sharding, replication. We know these technologies provide us with ability to face at search, highline, autocomplete, all the um, techniques and features that the most modern uh, search engines are now offering. And also it's important that depending on the use case that the customer has and the way that um, the data is stored, the way they use the search, we can offer the best search strategy and search solution to be adopted to, for, for them. We can say, um, we believe that in your use case, it's better that you use Solar 4, 5, Solar Cloud, because A, B, and C, or better to use Amazon Cloud Search, because D, E, F, okay? 
other benefits that we can have is imagine that you have data in, let's say, Alfresco, and you have data somewhere else. You need or you want to have um, both uh, systems linked somehow, but you don't want to push the information in Alfresco. OK, through Manifold, you uh, configure these two repositories to ingest information in the ser server. Um, you linked the information of both uh, repository source. Also, you um, can use the permissions, and the permissions are, check, are checked just one. You don't need to go to Alfresco, search something in Alfresco, and then with the result sets of Alfresco, go to Redlink in this case, and search uh, with the result set that you get from Alfresco, something else in Redlink. So it scales much better, the performance is much better. Now we are going to do the, the demo. Uh, I think we are good on time. Um, this is the uh, architecture that we are going to use in the demo. OK. We have two Alfresco instances. One of them contains news about sports. The other one contains documents about movies, about actors, about um, the Hollywood world. Okay, we have also a file system that contains different news, different uh, documents. Okay, also note that um, uh, the Alfresco movies installation is synchronized with Redlink. Does anyone know something about Redlink? No, I don't think so. No. Well, Redlink is a um, is a platform that its aim is offer technology semantics, uh, enhanced data and linked data um, by software as a service uh, capabilities. Um, it basically it helps to enrich content automatically. It doesn't need human involvement and makes relationship between documents. Uh, basically, semantic technologies. It's something that um, we do too hard, but we didn't have much time to include about some anything about about Redlink actually. Okay. Well, in the middle we have our solution that contains manifold um, uh, manages the interaction between the left part and the right part. In the right part we have the search engines. Okay, we have configured um, an instance of Amazon Cloud Search that indexes information about the Alfresco movies uh, um, deployment and the Alfresco Sports news deployment. We have Solar for five that contains um, the information about the file system, the content of the file system. And also the the Alfresco uh, Sports repository. Finally, we have Elasticsearch that only uh, index information about the, the Alfresco Sport news. It's something. It's just one sample of what we can what we can get. But I wanted you to show that we can have different uh, search engines, each of them behaving differently. Um, Finally, uh, those guys are going to help me to, to do the demo, OK? Maybe the, the right uh, column one is known for you. The, the other one, not too much, because he's a football player. But well, he's Gareth Bale. Um, he's a football player that plays for Real Madrid. He was recently hired for Real Madrid and cost a lot of money, OK? In the right hand, we have Christian Bale. He's an actor famous for performing Batman in the Christopher Nolas movies. Um, well, they don't share anything but the name, OK? The surname, Bale. Uh, but I'm, going to I'm going to show you in the demo. OK. So first of all, this is Apache Manifold. Okay, in the in the left column we have all the connectors and all the jobs that uh, have been defined. 
in the output connectors, we have the Amazon Cloud connector, the Elasticsearch connector, and the Solar connector, and well, um, a null connector. Um, just mentioned that you can have different Amazon connectors, each of them pointing to a different uh, Amazon Cloud endpoint. But for the demo, it's just one for each. We have the, well, um, we can delete, we can edit and see the properties. For instance, for the Amazon Cloud Connector, you just need to um, include the URL where the documents are being, uh, have been pushing. And the authority connectors, we have one authority for the Alfresco Movies, one authority for the Alfresco News. Um, basically, uh, here what you specify is the properties of the of the instance, okay? And we have a repository connector for the Fresco movies, for the Fresco news, and for the file system. Okay, again, uh, the properties that uh, you define are here, okay? URL, username, password, port, path, okay? Um, how can you map all of them with the jobs, okay? You create a new job. Well, first of all, when you create a repository connector, you specify both the connection type and the whether or not has an authority connector. Okay, so when you specify a job, you create a new job and you specify who is the output connection and who is the repository connection that is also mapped or not with the um, uh, authority connector, okay? So for this demo, we have, uh, as I showed you before, a job that index in Elasticsearch the Amazon, the Alfresco News uh, Alfresco instance, in Solar Clouds, uh, Solar Cloud the, mm, is indexed the, mm, the Alfresco News. In Alfresco Movies, uh, Alfresco Movies is indexed in Amazon. Uh, Alfresco News is also indexed in, in Amazon. And finally, the file system is indexed in Solar. It's pretty much what I showed you in the, in the diagram, okay? So um, these are the, the two Alfresco instances. This is the Alfresco news. Okay, contains informa information about sports. So if you search for bail, you get some results about Christian Bale, the football player. Okay. The same if you go to the Alfresco movie site and you search for bail. You have information about uh, Christian Bale, the, um, the actor, okay? Uh, pretty much to show you that m mostly one Alfresco is speaking about news in one case and the other one about um, movies, okay? So uh, this is the web, the, the user interface mm, of our solution under the, the hood is using our API, okay? We have three tabs here, one for Solar, one for Elasticsearch, one for Amazon. Um, the left column contains the faces that we want to include in our solution. Um, I want it to be very practical and I put something that everyone in a fresco world uh, knows like types, main types and categories. You could configure custom metadata, you could separate categories in subcategories, okay? The search box and the results, okay? So for instance, I am in Amazon, if I search for bail, um, we have the results. If you remember, Amazon contains um, Alfresco movies and Alfresco news, so it should have both bales. Gareth Bale, the football player, Gareth Bale, the, uh, Christian Bale, the actor. Okay, so I want to filter because I only want the documents that talk about Bale in a football way, okay? We have these documents. 
And I only want the documents that speak about Bale in a football way, but that are in Italian. Okay? That's Italian, you can trust me. Okay? Um, but okay, I don't want any more the Bale football player. I want the Bale that talks about, let's say, Batman Begins the movie. Okay? Just know that the categories, uh, because we um, have integrated the Alfresco movies with um, uh, Red Link, are extracted automatically and they are entities. Okay? So, because uh, the document is speaking about some people, some places, some organization, Red Link is able to extract automatically those entities, um, enrich the document uh, as categories in this case, but also uh, giving you the ability to uh, have linked documents or related documents because they are speaking about the same subject without human involvement. Okay? Um, that's also cool. Um, now if we go to Elastic, we search for Bale. If you remember, there were only news, uh, food, um, sport news in, in Elasticsearch. Okay? The same. Bail, Italian. Okay? The same with solar. Okay? Bail. Only uh, sport news. Um, okay. Uh, one thing that I told you uh, is that we uh, take care of permission. Okay? Uh, I am using uh, the admin user for doing the, the queries if I remove the, the, um, the word for search, we have 1,158 one, one, uh, one documents. I'm going to change the user that is performing the, the search instead of ad admin. I'm going to use my own user. My user is not member of the uh, site that contains the news about uh, sports. Okay, so if I reload the page and I search for bail, there are no results. Okay, because I cannot see the documents, so I cannot search for them. Okay, just note that you can see that there are only uh, 500. Uh, 19 documents, okay? Um. I reload again, I set for bail. And here they are the result. There is no one deleting while we are talking, okay? Um, if you remember, the file system is indexed only in Solar, okay? So if, for instance, I go to Elasticsearch and I search for Boston, I don't have results, okay? But if I go to Solar and I search for Boston, I have one, which is here in the, in the file system, okay? So you guys believe me more that what you are doing right now, I'm going to put the document in, in the folder that manage the, the index uh, of the file system, and I'm going to run the job. For doing that, I go to a status and job man management link, and I run the file system solar. Okay. Now we can see the status, it's starting up, I can refresh. Right now it's running. I can refresh again. It's sending the end notification. It's sending the end notification. Well, I didn't mention, but I'm using uh, online servers. And I don't know about you guys, but the connection is not behaving very well for me, but so far so good, okay? Uh, okay, it's, it's done. The document that I included is 
spoke about Boston, I think. Yeah. Save for November football games. Okay. So if you want to have a football game, just get in touch with me. Okay. Uh, and I, that's it. I, if I search in Elastic, because it's the the um, file system is not going to be indexed in in Elastic, and I search for Boston, still no results. Okay. Um, but I want you to to show you um, how all the or how fast all these uh, search engine index and, and, and search new information okay for this reason I go to uh, Alfresco to the Alfresco news site I go to the document library uh, news folder here for instance yeah so I am I'm going to upload a document that um, I just downloaded today. It's about yesterday Celtics got lost. Sorry about that for those who support Celtics. Uh, I'm going to upload the document. Okay. The document is here. Okay. So if I go to Manifold, um, I index it in Elasticsearch, for instance. The job is starting up, OK? It's um, trying to um, uh, communicate with the uh, source repository. Well, it was it went too fast, but it communicate to the um, source repository. Tries to get some transactions and post it to the um, uh, search engine output connector. Okay, it's done. So now if I go here and I search for Boston, we have it. Okay, how long do we have? Sorry, five. No, just a little okay. Well, I want to show you the conclusions, and maybe you have some, some questions, so I will stop the, the demo for now. Um, so, yeah. Um, these are the three uh, sentences I want you to keep with, OK? Through our solution, we can search an index in the most popular cloud search solutions, OK? Also, we can retrieve information from the most popular repositories and data providers. And important, we manage permission and security data. Every, since we've been working with these technologies quite a long time, it's completely fully supported by us, OK? So we offer professional support about this solution. And this image pretty much represents the three sentences that I gave you before, OK? We can have different combinations of these repositories in indexing in different combinations of these uh, search engines, OK? Because software is always evolving, we have a quite large roadmap with some features that we want to offer. The most uh, upcoming are we are going to improve the user interface that, we, that I show you. We are going to have some new connectors, like one authority connector for the file system, so we can understand the permissions of a file system if this file system is integrated with an Active Directory, or uh, a Red Link uh, repository connector as well. We are going to do benchmarking with large data volume because we need to prove that actually uh, these search engines are quite a lot better than what has been offered by, by default. Also, depending on what cases is better one search engine or the other. And we are going to have shared integration, OK? Because what we want to have that is uh, co almost complete 
is when you search in the share uh, search inbox, having the same behavior that I show you in the, um, in the user interface. So the results that I show you are present in the, in the share user interface, Alfresco share. And finally, yeah, we are not Batman, okay, but uh, in case that you need some help or something, you can uh, get in touch with us, either uh, say see headquarters or, or myself. Okay, not sure if you have some questions. Yep. Thanks. <clears throat> um, in the beginning, you mentioned that uh, you would. Did you actually rewrite the Alfresco connector for Manifold? Yep. Okay, and then did you give that back to Apache? No, not yet. I promise in Barcelona because I presented with Pierre Giorgio. He's a manifold committer, but we were going to release it okay. sooner than better. That's great, thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, we will do it. It's public, okay? I promise <laughs> we are going to do it. Okay, okay? That's then, and then also, well, I know I did see some loose stuff there. It looks like you know, you're like you know, I saw on the last slide there are like SharePoint connections and you know other things like that too. So that's good. And then. Um, one other quick question in terms of, let's say that you've done some custom tokenization style stuff, so like on the solar side, we've done some things like that that's not related to Alfresco. Um, <clears throat> can you handle anything like that too? Like, uh, um, I don't know, talk to you offline about that. What was the question? I uh, just, we, we do like some different kind of tokenization stuff uh, for like some, some of our solar indices. Um, there's like basically operators and things like that that, that are kind of, you know, have been changed and modified and um, I was just trying to think about how that you know may work within Manifold. Basically, as long as it can get indexed by SOAR, you can you can handle it, right? Well, it's it's about transaction. I mean, every every time that you either create, modify, or, or delete, uh, um, Manifold is aware of it and can retrieve the modification. Whether uh, a document needs to be deleted, it deletes from the index as well. So it's not only bringing new docu documents and new information, but also. Uh, um, removing the one that is no longer in the repository. Right, yeah. and then just one final note. I mean, I also see it seems like th the use case here, you could actually use this for a lot more than, you know, just Alfresco integration. I mean, y you know, I mean, theoretically, well, it could be like an autonomy alternative or something yeah, like that. Where do you see it going? I there? mean, we're mainly Alfresco integrator. Um, those use cases, those problems came uh, through Alfresco projects, but because of the way that the technology is designed, we could use in the left side of the equation anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you. Um, in Alfresco, you, you have prompts when you move files. So if you have a file or a, a tree in slash A, slash B, slash C, and you move it to another location, slash X, slash Y, slash Z, yeah. then you have to. Re index. To be, yeah, to be clear. Well, it's S pretty much. The same, the meaning that uh, in Alfresco you change one path, but what you are actually doing is all the documents below are changing uh, some values, so are creating new transactions for um, everything. Um, yeah, and because of that, we need to index those transactions. But, okay. but uh, you you you've seen that the the, in the index is quite fast actually because. When you re-index, do you take the transform text, or do you, if it's a PDF, do you uh, reconvert again from PDF to text? Well, mm. depending on how the connector is implemented, in our case, we use uh, Apache Tika to extract only the plain context. But depend, I mean, you could have a, a, a create your own connector to extract the information in a PDF row and publish. The, uh, and ingest the information like it comes from the, from the repository for whatever reason, okay? Yeah. Okay, so, well, I'd be glad to talk to you in case you have some questions. It's just, I want you to help me with this search, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>